Hey guys, today I am going to review the budget-oriented mesh router, TP-Link Echo M5. It is normally sold in packs of 2 or 3. The one I'll be using is the pack of 2, which costs um, around 500 ringgit or USD 120. I'm using Maxis Fiber 300 Mbps, a common fiber package in Malaysia. It comes with TP-Link Archer C5V router, which honestly is not powerful enough to cover my two-story house. The 2.4G coverage is just acceptable, while the 5G coverage is bad. The coverage area and speed test improvements will be in the later part of the video. For now, let's unbox. Moving on to the pros and cons of the TP-Link Deco M5. First, it's quite affordable for a mesh router, especially from a known company. It is a very stable mesh uh, connection. From what I've tried, there's no disconnections when moving around the house. So even if it changes to a different mesh router, you won't feel the change. You will not be disconnected. No apparent download speed fluctuation when moving around the house as well. It covers a lot of area even those unreachable by my default Maxis router. The Deco app is uh, user friendly and uh, quite beautiful. It is easy to set up. It can be used with the default router so uh, you can use it as the AP mode. Whenever a new device connects to your mesh network it will notify you using the Deco app. It can also check which device is connected to which of the router. Let's say you have two mesh routers, one at the top floor, one at the ground floor. So you can actually see which of the devices that is connected to the top one and which are connected to the uh, bottom floor. Moving on to the cons. Um, the Deco app itself has very limited configuration. So uh, I think the biggest downside to this is uh, you're not even able to choose your Wi-Fi channel to evade congestion. Uh, secondly, it is very very hot while it's operational. So if you uh, want to pick it up and uh, move it around the house, let's say, uh, just do that after it has been shut down for maybe 5 minutes or so. Personally, I'm not a big fan of the design. It looks quite boring. I like the design of the cheapest Deco router available, which is Deco M4. Moving on to the 5G coverage area and download speed comparison for certain points in the house. Uh, do take note that due to the complications of Maxis fiber configuration, I'm only able to use uh, the Deco M5 in AP mode at the time of this video. So the comparison will be only for AP mode of Deco M5 plus the default router versus the standalone default router. As you can see, the coverage for ground floor has been improved. But the biggest difference is that it is 5 times more effective for the top floor. Before this, two of the top floor rooms were not able to run speed test due to the low signal. Uh, with Deco M5 in AP mode, both rooms Wi-Fi signal strength were almost 90%. Both rooms recorded roughly 120 Mbps compared to zero previously. My verdict. It has its downsides, but for this price, it is unbelievable. This is an excellent piece of hardware if you need to improve the Wi-Fi coverage, especially 5G. Um, sorry for the lack of in-depth information and technical aspect in this video. I hope this can at least help you understand a bit more on what this device does and if it's what you are looking for to spend money on. See you next time.